Hello everybody. Ah, uh, so today I'm starting a new, I don't know if I call it a series. We'll call it a series uh, um, for horse and musket gaming. Um, I was going to call it black powder gaming, but I do more than just the rules black powder. I do all kinds of horse and musket uh, gaming from everything from French and Indian War to American Revolutionary War to Napoleonics. American Civil War, so I just thought, you know, we'll call it a horse and musket. So, I am I was setting up to do some basing, and I thought I'd just turn on the camera. Um, I'm just putting down my sand and gravel mix for uh, the basing I use for my uh, Napoleonics for the peninsula, so for Portugal and Spain, and I thought I'd turn on the camera, and what I'm going to do from from now on whenever I'm working on uh, my black anything that's black powder or uh, muskets and tomahawks or uh, patriots and rebel uh, rebels um, I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna record it see what I'm doing so I'll either be painting or um, building guys or uh, basing like I am doing tonight um, I've got a lot of basing to do at the moment because I've got a lot of stuff painted but not based and I'd like to get the miniatures based and uh, so that uh, I can start using them but uh, I'm going to start with this guy here got half his base done but uh, right, right in front of me I've got uh, British Infantry Battalion for black powder and uh, King's German Legion Heavy Dragoons. So I'm going to work on the Dragoons tonight. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to work on the uh, infantry. And then I can do the, uh, the Tufts for the infantry and the, um, the banners. Because I have two banners to, to the unit as well. But. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd jump on here. And one of the things I was going to talk about was, is I kind of made a little bit of a boo-boo when starting to base these uh, heavy dragoons. I put the, uh, the, I don't know why I did it. I have no idea. I, I should have known better. I put the tufts down first, and then I started doing the sand and gravel. And then I thought to myself, oh no, that's going to... It's going to get stuck in the static grass and all that. And it did. I had to brush it out and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm kind of hoping to get uh, these Dragoons done. And like I said, I'm basing these for uh, Warlord Games' black powder. I like using black powder for Napoleonics. I find it's easier for me to teach new players how to play. And I like the scale of it. I've got a big gaming table in, in our new house so I like that that I can once these guys are all done I can put on some bigger games yeah so <sighs> blow off the excess sand knock it off the flowers The other thing is, I think this will also encourage me to get some stuff done if I'm trying to record something on a fairly regular basis. I don't know if I'll do this every week, but I think I'll do it uh, at least a couple times a month. Already doing one series on Modern once a week, so I don't know. We'll see if I do that like uh, once a week. It, it might happen, and it might just be once or twice a month. But uh, I wanted to get record this because I'm sitting here, and I'm like, oh, I'll just record it. You know, I'll just record me yammering on about black powder and horse and musket games and 
paint my guys because I'm going to be doing that anyways. Somebody might get some something useful out of this if I'm recording this. Like as in don't stick your data grass tufts down until you've done the sand and gravel. <laughs> That's a good one. I think they're going to look fine, but I was just annoyed that I had to go around and brush out all the sand. They got stuck in the static grass and stuff. It was really, it really got stuck in the uh, flowers that I had on here. Now once I put on the, um, how I do the basing for these guys is I've got a sand and gravel mix that I use that looks like dirt and sand and, you know, when I use it for Spain and Portugal, it's got a very light tanny, light brown color. And then what I do is I uh, put uh, different uh, static grass tufts and flowers on, and then I go around afterwards and just put sporadic just grass down. So. You know, sitting here basing, and thinking about all the guys that I have painted, but they're missing their banners, they're missing their static grass, they're missing their tufts, so I should get on that, play some games once they're done. And once I get some Napoleonics done to a certain level, I want to uh, start working on my American Civil War again. I was basing them up for a sharp practice, but I played some some games, and it was okay. But it wasn't just wasn't the game I was looking for. So I'm gonna try. I will be playing it with black powder because I've got the the supplement for black powder for American Civil War. I will be playing that, but I wanted to play something, you know, a little bit smaller in scale to begin with until I get enough miniatures to play Black Powder. So I was thinking maybe Rebels and Patriots or something along those lines and trying it out until I get enough, enough units painted up and We'll see how it goes, but I've got I've got a whole bunch of my American Civil War based on washers and on magnetic movement trays for sharp practice. So I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do. It's not a big deal to move them and and stuff to a different you know like basing system. So. I'll have to see what I can I can do to get figure out which rule system I want to do. I decided just to leave the camera on the miniatures themselves so you guys can see what what I'm painting. And you can see the sand and gravel container. Okay, so there's my sand and gravel on. So what I'm going to do next 
is put uh, some of the static grass on for grass. I've done it on three of them so far, but there's three left to do. And I, you know, with this horse and musket gaming, I might actually record some games as well. Because I love playing um, horse and musket games, you know. And one of my favorites, other than black powder for large scale games, is muskets and tomahawks. And I love the French Indian War. So I think what I might do is uh, some games of French and Indian War with muskets and tomahawks. And I've got a bit of my stuff painted. But it is doing the videos and recording and stuff like that it might give me that little extra push to get some stuff done. Um, not quite sure. I'd probably try to get my. Uh, I got a couple French uh, infantry units that I would like to get done that I started, and one thing or another happened, and and I didn't get them done. But uh, maybe this will give me the uh, the push I need to get everything done and painted and uh, get it out on the on the table so that sit there for a second one thing about static grass it can be messy but uh, yeah so I'm, I'm thinking I um, this this episode I'm just going to be basing some guys. Next episode probably going to be painting some French Napoleonic infantry or some American Civil War. I'm really itching to paint some more American Civil War. Um, but uh, we'll see. Blow off the excess. Yeah, I just put little blotches of grass out just to break up the sand and gravel I really I like this mix I like how it looks on my basing I'm trying to decide whether I want to, um, so like doing Samurai as well. And I don't know if, you, I don't think you can count that as horse and musket, even though they've got rifles and very primitive rifles and very primitive cannons. I think I'll leave that for something else. Maybe I'll do some, because I've got lots of ancients I need to paint as well. So maybe I'll. I'll do it there but uh, we'll see well I just noticed I missed the eyes on these horses I'll have to go back and paint the eyes when I go to do the uh, edge of the bases because I have a color that I like to use for the edges on the bases his horse. That bugler. Oh, I didn't glue him. Huh, that would be why he popped off. But, uh, yeah, I really enjoy painting the American Civil War, especially the Confederates. With all their, uh, different, uh, colorings for their uniforms and stuff like that it just it's really cool with all the butternut and grays and you know even reds and stuff like that so i thought why not i 
Let me put a little bit on this one. Oh, I gotta glue him as well. Apparently I didn't glue the metal command miniatures onto their horses. So I'll have to do that. I'll have to remember about that. But that's it for my basing on these guys. I think what I'll do now is do their edging on their, their bases. And uh, see how far I can get with that. And what I might do also is do the horse's eyes. But uh, probably going to stop the video here pretty quick. Because I don't think that's an exciting thing to watch. But uh, I just wanted to jump on to do a video on horse and musket. I'm kind of hoping that, you know, if I get some good feedback and people ask questions, you know, and stuff like that. And... Uh, and get some conversations going um, like right now I'm really I think I think I'm gonna concentrate on doing uh, Napoleonics getting the basing done on all the units that I've painted over the years because I, I realized how many of them I didn't do the basing and I didn't do their banners because I hadn't done their basing and it just they just don't look right when you've got poles basically long spears with no banners on them so we'll be doing i'll be doing that i i just need to i'm gonna i'm thinking you know doing a regular video thing or semi-regular video thing will kick me in the in the butt to actually get some painting done i paint quite quite a bit but for some reason i always get to like most gamers i get distracted by new shiny things like right now I'm doing 10 mil modern. So, but I figure if I even did one night a week where I did some horse and musket, I would be able to uh, get some stuff done. And uh, I think I'm going to call it at that. And I'm going to uh, hit the uh, stop button. And... Uh, not bore you guys too much with me painting the brown edge on a on a base so i'm gonna let you guys go um you know hit subscribe hit like you know if you have any comments please please leave them below and i will try to answer them as best i can and if you guys have suggestions for stuff please feel free to add that too to the conversation okay guys thanks and have a great day.